Is neurofeedback therapy helpful for Tourette's syndrome? When many people hear Tourette's, it often ushers forth thoughts of some seemingly out of control human being spewing an incessant stream of profanity. The medical definition for this is coprolalia. In truth, the repetitious utterance of words, vulgar words, is a symptom only found in a relatively small portion of those with the disorder, 10%. As is the case with autism, the exact cause of Tourette syndrome has yet to be discovered. There is, however, a significant genetic factor involved. A mother or father with Tourette syndrome has a 50-50 chance of passing the gene on to a child. One useful way of thinking about what's going on with the sudden jerks or tics that someone with Tourette's may suffer, dozens, even hundreds of times a day, is to think about a lamp with a faulty switch. You touch the switch and the light flickers on and off. Even the slightest touch will cause the light bulb to engage in an apparent dance of indecision, committing to nothing but determined to do something, anything, until it finds itself doing something else. The point is, it's not the light bulb that's at fault, even though that's what's being noticed. In much the same way, we find the person with Tourette's or the person sitting next to them wanting to control the arm, the leg, the facial expressions, or the mouth. But just as changing the light bulb would do nothing to alleviate the challenges presented by a faulty light switch, tying down the hands or placing duct tape over the mouth of someone with Tourette's will prove to be just as illogical and most important frustrating. While we may not always be in a position to replace a less than perfect light switch, at least immediately, we can usually tighten the switch or make sure that it is connecting properly. Sometimes it doesn't take much. This is sometimes the case with Tourette's and neurofeedback. Sometimes clinicians may scratch their head in dismay at how simply the symptoms have been reduced. Trust, however, there will also be times when clinicians scratch their head, feeling somewhat confused, wondering why things aren't happening faster with the neurofeedback therapy. Even though results are mixed, we are only at the beginning of the possibilities. Just think of being able to help someone who is suffering from severe Tourette symptoms, whose previous life was dedicated to managing their symptoms, to now have the opportunity to seek employment or get involved in a relationship, all because they have made such marked improvements with neurofeedback. Then consider a doctor not telling a Tourette sufferer about neurofeedback simply because there's not enough research to support it as a mainstream form of treatment. Understandably, the cost can be a hurdle for some people for neurofeedback therapy, but weighed against the fact that the side effects are little to none, the possibilities are endless. By utilizing the technology of neurofeedback to improve people's lives without the need of a lifetime of drugs, it's a logical choice for anyone wanting some relief from their Tourette syndromes. If you're interested in finding out more about the amazing world of neurofeedback therapy, you can download my 168-page ebook PDF file, which is called Neurofeedback, Transforming Your Life with Brain Biofeedback, for only $7.99 by going to www.neurofeedbackbook.com. My name is Dr. Claire Albright. I'm a clinical psychologist and the author of this ebook at www.neurofeedbackbook.com. I can be reached at 949-454-0996.